damn it. Harrow's here. You backstabbing witch! You ratted us out! Dr. Blackwell. I know we've had our differences, but this... For your information, I had nothing to do with Mr. Harrow's sudden appearance on our doorstep. But thank you for confirming how little faith you have in me. Now, I don't presume to know how things work for you, gentlemen. But I can assure you that Calico wasn't built on broken words and betrayed confidences. Women in my position don't have that privilege. Now, I assume you have the plant? We do. Good. And there are clean syringes and alcohol swabs in the lab. Five minutes is all we need. Mr. Gravener is looking for you, sir. He's in the basement with your father. Come on, William. I've seen you survive worse. You could. feeling that someone's squeezing my brain uh, there's some thoughts in here that, that aren't mine oh i see her chasing oh no you must stop her before wait wait i see sign dickinson she's in dickinson I need to get to Dickinson. Tough old bastard, he's turning it around on her. It's gonna be a hard sell to Harrow. Gotta try. You keep an eye on him. And keep your hands off that switch. Mr. Harrow is waiting in the briefing room. He's... well, he's being himself, if you know what I mean. Did you really think it was smart to eat the moon? Assistant Secretary Harrow, sir. Agent Rentier. And Dr. Blackwell brought me up to speed on your father. Sir, we... I know. It couldn't have been easy. His shadow will loom large over us all. Please accept my condolences on behalf of a grieving nation. And try not to wallow in grief. It only leads to blunder. And this country desperately needs success. Aside from the news of your father's tragic demise, I've also briefed the Assistant Secretary on the successful destruction of Felicity's leech factory in McCallum Sawmill. That and a penny will buy me a cup of warm piss, Doctor. No one is safe while that crazy she-beast and her army of freaks are on the loose. And do you have any idea where she is? No. Actually, I do, sir. We have intel that she's currently in Dickinson. What intel? Can't say, but it's 100% solid. 
Great. You can head for Dickinson after you get back from Kingston. Kingston? There's a case containing some very sensitive information there that I need picked up. But sir, the Dickinson lead. There's at least three interstate railroads there. It might be a part of Felicity's transport. Very well. You, you there. What's your name? Oni? Virgil? Oni? Do you know your way to Kingston, only Virgil? I... With all due respect, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Virgil is our top engineer. I... He is not fit for field action. I don't give a watery shit about his curriculum fucking vitae, Doctor. I'm funding this circus of yours, and I want those papers back now. Mm. I'll get them for you. What do I need to know? We recently got our hands on a partial list of companies tied to the Andalusia Financial Services Group, like McCallum's Mill and the Kingston Oil Fields. Tabano. Tabano, indeed. He and his maniacal brat are up to their assholes in illegal acquisitions, and the government intends to seize their not insubstantial portfolio. Sounds like you need a lawyer, not a vampire hunter. Tried that already. I even sent in the blasted National Guard to secure the papers. But the place was guarded. That's where you come in. So what exactly am I looking for? Based on the final telegram from my forensic accountant, Andalusia's portfolio of holdings is stashed in a briefcase, presumably still at the Kingston Oil Fields Bureau on the far side of the lake. I still don't get why it's more urgent than looking for Felicity and Dickinson. Wars cost money, Rentier. And unless you've forgotten the incident at your former headquarters, we are at war. This could very well turn the tides in our favor. Uh, let's get this over with. You all right, folks? I need to find the office. You crazy? The whole area's been totally overrun by bloodthirsty freaks! The National Guard's fighting back, but there's too many of those monsters. If they don't get some help soon, we're all goddamn doomed. Easy. Take that.
money. Swing it! The National Guard flooded the fields, but my friends were stuck on the other side. Thank you, stranger. We thought we were goners. 
Is there some way we can repay you? Yeah, you can point me towards the oil company office. Oh, it's on the other side of the lake. Though you're gonna have to drain it to get over there. Release all counterweights and you'll open the sluice gates. Let's drain this sucker. Good. Need to get to that other one now. Thank you for letting us out, sir. I hope you make it, sir. case to go.
taking it. For a second there, I thought you were one of those demons. The National Guard barricaded us inside here before they headed off to protect the company office. If you want to find the man in charge, you need to use that crane to move those crates.
I'll take that. Thanks for letting us out. The office, where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Now, unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower, that'd be crazy. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the pipes. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going. We thought we were done for! I'm so glad you made it, sir. God bless you, sir. I can go see my family now. More money. After a closer examination, I believe these trust documents are suspect. Every 30 years, the property rights are transferred to the next generation. However, I believe that Peter DeBono has likely been deeding them to himself for who knows how many years. Sincerely yours, Jonathan Q. Biddle. Got through. 
Time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. Oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle at your service. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government you ate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? Ten percent. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait! What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. <laughs> 